Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give the channel. Oh my goodness, you, I just, I read every last comment and I just thank you for those who put the comments. I, I, you guys, you really, really warm my heart. So I will always want to begin my readings by saying that. Um, if you're tuning in with me, I'm about to do your Twin Flame Soulmate reading, okay? You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. Hello to our cross watchers. Now, keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop, okay? So, if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. You could even, even been, even been, you can even be picking up on an energy that is surrounding you, okay? Um... We have um, been doing a lot on the channel with Twin Flames, so make sure you check out the Twin Flame playlist. I've been checking in on Twin Flame energies uh, when I feel the urge to, so uh, I've been posting that over on our Instagram, so make sure you follow us at Lotus Love Tara 555. Uh, literally just did a Twin Flame energy check-in that was quite interesting and didn't extend it with that as well, so go and check that out. Now, today's reading is for Twin Flames and Soulmates. Okay, and so um, soulmates are any relationship, so make sure you understand that. Okay, it's any relationship. Okay, could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a business partner. It's a relationship where you're learning a lesson from, could be karmic as well. Okay, but it's a relationship that you're um, you're learning a lesson from. And so make sure you keep you keep that in mind as we're going through the reading, because you could be picking up on a karmic or a soulmate. There is a difference. And in fact, I'm going to do a, uh, a video on that as well. But you could be picking up on a soulmate relationship, or if you're a twin flame, you could be resonating um, on a twin flame level as well. You just have to see what situation is, um, is relating to what we're doing today. Okay, could be hearing something that happened a few months ago, could be something that's going on right now, could be something that's going to be happening in the near future. You guys do me a favor, and if you would, hit that like button to the reading because it helps push it out a little further. Subscribe to the channel. Every time I release a reading, you will be notified. And share it. Share, share, share. Okay? All right. Uh, we will do an extended on this as well. All right. I think we are ready now. On to your reading. Hello, my Libras. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And the first card out will go here, and that will be for your partner. And the next card out will be for you, and that will go here. Now, do keep in mind, though, that these energies can definitely flip-flop, okay? They're transferable. You could be picking up on the energy that's around you, all right? So just take it how it resonates with you. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the Twin Flame Soulmate Relationship for January 2021. All right, I'm going to keep that one right there since it went right to that spot. Okay. All right, these cards actually have been coming out very quickly uh, for this reading for all of the signs so far. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra. As it relates to the Twin Flame Soulmate Relationship for January 2021. Okay. I told you, they've just been just flying out, literally. Okay. Let's see what the messages are for the sign of Libra. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So somebody is envious of someone... Possibly a relationship, situation. Um, envy is coming forth here. And so we really got to look at that because this is the, this is jealousy, okay? And it's so sad. You know, in some relationships, sometimes the partners are jealous of each other, of their accomplishments, not realizing that, you know, if I make it, you make it. A lot of couples don't, don't, don't they don't understand that. And I don't, that's something I don't get. I don't get but envy is here. So somebody could be envious of your relationship. You could be envious of somebody else's relationship. You all could be envious and jealous of each other's and um, you know accomplishments. So let's just see where this is going. I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. So somebody wants to come forth and say, listen, I want to be real with you. I want you to know exactly how I'm feeling. Either I'm feeling like you're doing this to me. We're doing this to each other. I'm doing this to somebody else. 
Somebody else may be doing this to me. This could go a variety of different ways. So let's just keep unpacking this so we can see where this is going. This person just wants balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. See, this person is the one that's trying to get this other person to wake up. You know, to understand that, listen, you are working out of a 3D mindset. You know, with that jealousy and envy and, and, and you know, all of that built up into your heart. Where life needs to be about balance, about harmony, about being on one accord. It's easier to just stay away right now. Yeah, this person's not dealing with it. They're not dealing with this. It's just easier to stay away right now. It's easier to stay there. So clearly this is separation that, that's taking place. Um, in this relationship because somebody is really not dealing with it. Look at that. Because they're not working as a team. Not working together. Not working on one accord. And I'm telling you, envy is a really dangerous emotion. Jealousy, oh my gosh, really, really dangerous emotion. So if somebody's experiencing this in a relationship, I can see why they just want to just walk away right now. I can see why they just don't want to deal with it right now. All right, the Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the same flame soulmate relationship for January 2021? Somebody is real. I feel like I'm starting to feel like somebody is really jealous of somebody else's relationship or somebody is jealous of you, maybe some of the things that you're doing, or you're jealous of what somebody else is doing. A uh, page of pentacles came out for, I can't remember, but it just recently came out. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let me check to see if, wow, okay, so you got uh, angel number coming through literally right here um, with the threes, and then you have a nine right here, so definitely the threes. You got a three here, six here, three, 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 and then you got three, 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 and then you got a two and a one here, which is a three. So definitely look up the threes. Um, that's an additional angel number that's for sure coming through for you, okay? Um, could be dealing with, you got a lot of earth here, a lot of earth, okay? Uh, fire as well. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's coming through, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is an extra emphasis on a Taurus or a Libra, but I do think this is you coming forth as the Empress in reverse Libra, okay? So we have the Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse, Two of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles, the Empress in reverse, and your overarching energy is the Page of Pentacles. This is kind of like a very um, immature energy. Um, somebody who's just starting out. Now, if this is person is older, um, they're coming across very, very young-minded. Could be dealing with someone younger than you as well. But I feel like this. I feel like it's a very immature energy that's just trying to uh, break free or or get started in something and. Uh, this could represent also someone needing to have patience with someone. But, you know, by this being a page, the patience is um, a kind of young-minded patience, whereas you're not going to, like, stick around for too long um, because simply because of the young mindset. Uh, I don't know. I keep feeling like somebody's just very immature. And that's what, I, that's, what's keep, that's what keeps resonating with me. But I feel like somebody's really needing to have patience with somebody right now. But I feel like the patience are running thin. And the reason I say that because you got the um, the wounded warrior right here. You know, with this with this nine of wands here. This is somebody who is just trying to keep their boundaries from somebody. They're just trying to, you know, stay away. Uh, make sure nobody doesn't cross this line that they have around themselves. Because they realize that this person is not good for them. This is them really just, you know, being very resilient. Taking their last stand or something. You know, saying, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've already been wounded in this situation. I'm not doing it anymore. And uh, somebody's love is blocked. The love is blocked with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay? Um, nobody, you know, this is blocked love. This is emotional loss. Somebody's experiencing. This is, um, you know, uh, emptiness in this relationship. Just somebody really, really being empty. But clearly a block was brought in um, to kind of protect this person here who's kind of been wounded. Now, again, from this jealousy, from this envy. 
I don't know what direction this envy, this jealousy is coming from though. This could be coming from a family member, could be coming from a friend, could be coming from inside of the relationship. You have to see how that's resonating because I'm just feeling like it might be several groups of you where this envy is coming or jealousy is coming from different angles. And that's why I'm just so kind of fluttered. But this is somebody who, even though they're blocked, um, you know, and they have emotional loss. In addition to that, you know, they have a fear of making this decision that needs to be made. You know, even though they know it's best for them to make this change, uh, they, they have a fear of change. They're just trying to play everything safe right now um, in the relationship. Okay, even though the heart is blocked. And they realize that the heart is blocked. Um, somebody, again, this is that balance. This is this person here trying to bring balance to the relationship. You know, but they realize it's not an equal give or take. You know, someone's giving more than the other person is willing to give. But the balance, see the balance, the scales right there. They want this balance in a relationship. But balance is not here. Balance is not coming forth. First of all, the back is towards the empress in reverse. This empress is very, very upset. You know, and this empress in reverse, this could be the person that's bringing forth the envy, the jealousy, because that could be resonating. Or this could be somebody that's so upset about what's experienced by this relationship not being balanced, by it not being equal, okay? That they're in this energy now, you know, very, very upset, you know, not really um, down with whatever is happening with this experience right now in this relationship, very blocked, very closed off, okay? So we're going to go into uh, the extended now because we got a lot to unpack. Really got to figure out what is going on with this person with this envy here. They're wanting to be authentic. Okay, they say they're no longer afraid, but it's coming across that they are afraid. So they could be saying one thing but doing another. And again, that's what's keeping things out of balance. That's what's keeping the situation not with that equal give or take in a relationship. That's what's keeping somebody empty and blocked and really not wanting to give their love because they are like taking their last stand on this. They're not playing. They have those boundaries up and nobody's crossing it. They're not open to um, anything right now. Okay. All right, my loves, if you want to go to the extended, that link can be found below. Okay. Um, if you want to do a private reading, that information can be found below as well. And don't forget to join our Patreon uh, where you'll get all the extendeds. Okay. So we're going to go into your extended and meet me on the other side. Bye-bye.